Hi, it's Dr. John Arlett in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. This next section that we're going to talk about is the mid face, and that's really the area bounded by the zygomaticus major, the nasolabial fold, the lateral wall of the nose, and um, the tear trough. We're going to look at all of those areas, really important structures that we consider every day when we're um, injecting patients. Also, primary areas where we're going to have great improvement as the results of our treatments. One area that's important for you, that's very helpful to use as a landmark, is to find the uh, zygomaticus major muscle. Look at that, I got it right on. So the zygomaticus major muscle is this striated band going horizontally through um, the middle of our screen. And this originates in the zygomatic arch and extends down to and inserts in to the modiolus. So that's the lateral aspect of the mid face. The medial component we've gone over extensively as the uh, nasolabial fold, the lateral wall of the nose. We're now going to come up and we're going to look for the infraorbital foramen. And here's the infraorbital foramen. We'll see this increased density of our image, uh, more echoes coming back to it with a little bit of reverberation and uh, mirroring. We'll also see this little hook on the side, which is also helpful when we're injecting from the lateral aspect towards the medial aspect. It actually protects the area. And here we have the infraorbital foramen and the infraorbital artery, you know, pulsing out of it. And just superior to that, we have the facial vein which is very easy to compress and lose. So there we have all of our structures. We have the veins superiorly. So here we have our infraorbital foramen and our infraorbital artery coming out of it. Superior to that, you just see the facial vein. And if we take a little bit of pressure off of it, we can see a little bit better. So uh, on this image, what we can see is we see the maxilla, we see the SMAS, and we see the deep medial fat compartment, and superficially, the more superficial fat compartment as part of the um, mid-face. And so the mid-face is an important structure for us to be looking at. Now, it's also very important for us to check our patients before we inject, because if they're, we need to know what their vascular structure is before we inject in an area, because if we come back to look after we've injected and we don't know where the, the vessels were beforehand, we'll be uh, surprised and perhaps even a bit confused as why we're not seeing vessels, because if they didn't have them before, they're not going to suddenly appear. So checking before is really important if you're going to be using ultrasound imaging as part of your approach to patient safety and patient uh, results and and efficacy.